Okay, so plan is let's give uh let's give the carrier a go. Uh it looks like there's more to the carrier than I had originally assumed. I'm dead. Ugh. Let's try that again. That wasn't a high score in the slightest. Okay. But yeah, I want to give the carrier a go. I want to see all of the the like new things that got added. Uh, do we want to do pulse railgun? Pulse is okay. I'm going to do railgun. Let's grab shockwave. Oh, shockwave got a bit of a nerf. Bit of a shame. It was pretty busted. But I also understand entirely why it got nerfed. Okay. Pride Zero. Killing enemies progresses assembly time on constructs. Yes. Okay, do we grab Death Blossom? Hell yeah. I'm not even sure how Death Blossom factors. On this sort of thing, but that's okay. Alright, Elgin Construction? Yeah. Uh, let's grab drones to start with. They're not amazing, but I just need really basic firepower right now. Is it me or did my drones get really small? Okay. Uh, let's see. Overclock. Mixed feelings on that one. Uh, let's just re-roll. Do I want to get turrets? I'm just going to get a bunch of basic constructs. And then go, we'll go from here. I'm curious about shielded constructs with this. I'm assuming it would go poorly, but I gotta try it. I just can only imagine shielded constructs with my, my little guys would be hilarious and problematic. But if it went like Tempest Break, it could be really interesting. Especially if they had Tempest Break, Volatile Shields, and effectively just flew around exploding on things. Okay, advanced engineering, extra drones, during damage, all, there's that. It's Revelation. I'm gonna grab Revelation, it's kind of rare. And there's like, there's one or two wild mods that'd be amazing with it. Damn it. Oh, only advanced and standard don't get it. Okay, let's try that again then. Oh, ba -ba 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 -ba. What do I want to do then? Because railgun, I like railguns. They're kind of grabbage. I guess let's just do pulse. So what mods are good for the carrier? Because it's, it's part of the reason why I was like kind of meh on it the last time I played. Because it didn't 
It didn't really like it seemed like the um the carrier only half benefited. Yeah, so sometimes they will be advanced. Weird. Okay, I'm not sure how I'm going to work with that one. Uh, let's grab priority zero. I hate it when that happens where I get bounced, don't have enough turning to get out of there, and don't have enough moment, uh, don't have enough speed to push back. Blech. Uh, let's see. Well, what else would I want to do? Because railgun is good but scales weirdly. I guess we could do grenades. There's also Bastion Shield. I mean, it is a construct. It's just every time I go Bastion Shield, I get wrecked. Whatever, screw it. I'll make it work it. Damn it. Not a... God. Oh. I think the carrier needs a little bit of knockback resistance. I had that problem with the... um. Oh, shoot. Whatever the other fat ship is. Uh, do you want to do darts? Yeah, battery. There we go. Yeah, I had the same problem with the battery when, uh... When I was originally messing with it before it got, uh, buffed a little bit. Because the problem is the battery... Battery likes to get knocked around, and... Uh, we'll grab Siphon. Siphon doesn't seem terrible. Okay, there we go. Let's see, shields aren't a really good investment. Yeah, I guess I can see that. I usually like to go with one of the really basic ones, like Siphon or Helix, just for that little bit of extra boost. Yeesh. Okay. I'm gonna grab Defiance. A point or two of plating early on. Might help. Uh, let's see. Your shield cooldown. Oof. Yeah, just what the hell? Like I bounce, bounce around like I've got streamline. Okay, let's go grenade. Again. I 
Yeah. Let's see, do we want Shockwave? Shockwave is kind of risky. I'll go Reflect. I will survive one of these runs. This is going to be like Thermal Lance, where I just have to get used to it. But until then, it's going to be a little rage-inducing. I guess I'll go Blast Radius for, for the moment. It's interesting, the idea of having the drones refilling your shields. I'm curious if there's ways that you can really make use of that. Okay, there's regeneration. Uh, let's see, hull strength. High explosive, wow. Apparently, I had a lot of these. Uh, let's see, an adaptive. I'm just gonna go kind of tanky as I keep getting wrecked. The grenades with the high explosive yield seems to be working out perfectly here. So yeah, usually you go rapid reconstruction. I will admit, I, I usually pass on rapid... Discord right off the bat. I'll take it. Uh, I usually skip on rapid reconstruction just because it... Uh, because it feels like a bit of a dead end. Compared to some other... Well... You end up healing, I guess, fairly fast, but... Um, you can't put any more mods in for the bonus survivability and you lose, like, potential for Tempest Break. I guess I should stop being, uh, a scaredy cat about that. And try it out. Because that would certainly save me a fair bit of mods. Honestly, now I've got enough survivability to not worry too much about it. Ow. Okay. Don't necessarily want energized shields. I'm gonna go allied. Nah, let's reroll. Get priority zero. And force armor. I'm here to just go beef. And we're getting a lot of asteroid showers. Okay, let's do magnitude. And yeah, definitely as you get up in levels, I get a lot more drones, which is good. If I went Overlord, I assume it, that would actually make it so I would get twice as many little carrier drone bits. I don't know if that would be worth it, though. I mean, obviously, I've already... I've already invested away from it. I'm just not really sure how to build for these guys because I don't, I don't know what affects them. I know uh, Chimeric talked about wanting a um, a fairly universal tag system, so it'd be easier to tell, you know, what's useful for what. But I don't think that's been put in the game quite yet. Are you not dead yet? Let's see, are there mods for this game yet? Not yet. Bravado affects them. Universal Construct mods affect them. Not much else. It's a bit of a shame. I 
I've always wanted the uh, the drones to actually be affected by your weapon mods. Like, make them a lot weaker. Oh, are they affected by self-destruction? Well, I guess we're just going to go full America. In the meantime, and I'll just have a bunch of little drone buddies. Yeah, I, d I don't know. I think... Hmm, I guess it's a bit of a trade-off. I'm gonna do that. Nope, 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 never mind. Not gonna do that. That gets risky. Okay, I'm, I'm doing okay. Oh. <sighs> yeah, what was, it? what was I gonna say? Weapon mod should affect all drones. I realized that would split drone builds heavily across, like, multiple... But I think it would still be worth it. Just because, I don't know, it would be really interesting to play with certain builds, like, going with extreme double-shot rocket drones and whatnot. Might be harder to build, uh, like, program the game for, but that would be really fun. Like, oh, wow, cam stream. I've actually been doing, um... I don't know if I want Twin Strike. I've been doing uh, face cam for a while recently, actually. Uh, a lot of it had to do with people kept stealing my shit and I was getting kind of sick of it. And so now I'm putting my, my face cam up a little bit more often, just as a kind of like, hey, uh, <laughs> you want to steal my footage? You're going to get my whole face. Oh, we need some velocity here. Well, that solves him. Okay. Do we want to grab Galvanic Outburst? It'd be good, but we need Snipe. Let's see. Where did you find a footage thief? Uh... I... Oh, jeez. It was several larger YouTube channels that I know about. Or that you guys probably know about. But I don't want to name names because, like, that just invites bad, bad juju. Um, I guess, it, I guess the one that I could kind of bring up, um, that actually hurt, even though it was, like, a little bit more innocent, uh, was I was watching the co-optional, uh, broadcasts three years ago. I pretty much actually, yeah, three, three years ago, uh, they were streaming... And I think it was TV when he was still alive. Effectively pulled up uh, an example of Slay the Spire, and I was like, "Oh, hey, that's me." And I got timed out of his chat for advertising, even though like he had pulled up my. Uh, I, I'm sure blame goes on one of his moderators, but effectively, um, effectively. Because it was my footage that he'd pulled up, I was like, hey, that's my footage. And, yeah, apparently that was a no-go. But they never actually said, hey, you know, we're watching Waterbot stuff. And they full-screened it so you couldn't see, like, you know, it was on my YouTube channel. Um, and that hurt, because it was kind of like, so what? You just get to use my footage without asking me or crediting me. Uh, and I've been kind of sitting on that one for a while. Because, like... You know, I freaking love the dude's content, and I love the show that he put on, and so on and so forth. And so it was kind of like, I get it. I get why 
why it was set up like that and like why they would have that. Wow, my little guys are just going bananas on him right now. Get him! Yeah! Ah, uh, blah, 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 blah. And I, I think it's just one of those that like, you know, if you don't have your own footage, you just look it, look it up on YouTube. It makes sense. But it's kind of one of those where it's like, yeah, I, I put effort into this, uh, same as anybody else, and uh, it was it was a not happy position to be uh, put into, and several other channels that are active that you know, uh, I like I don't I don't want to like besmirch the guy's memory by saying this. I I think it was just kind of an innocent thing that he probably didn't even think about and nobody ever called him out on it because why and even then like I didn't want to call him out on it it's just it kept happening you know if it had just been that one instance I would have been fine with it but like oh, it was, it, one of those like I don't think it was watch mojo or whatever it, but it was something similar one of those like top 10 games that like had controversial releases and they used my no man's sky footage and some other things and at least they credited me but it was still kind of one of those where it was just like, it asks. And so, after a while, I was just like, you know what? Screw it. I'm going to start experimenting with face cam. As kind of a counter to all of these things. Because, I mean, why not, I guess? People seem to like it for the most part. And honestly, like, it is actually really good for, um, habits, interestingly enough. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I don't want to reduce my projectile velocity. Oh, wow. I have not invested biscuits into shields. Maybe we do want to go rapid reconstruction. Have I not put a single point into shields? I haven't. <laughs> um... Let's go with that. But yeah, so there were a couple other channels that did this sort of thing, but in a ruder fashion. Uh, like, there was one that I actually specifically... I wouldn't say I revered, but I watched them nearly daily with Shell. And one day we came across a video where, once again, they had taken my Slay the Spire footage, because uh, it was, you know, hot cookies at the time. And it was kind of clear that they were pretending it was their own footage, and I w that was less cool. Because at least with, like, uh, the co-optional one, they just, you straight up, I think, could see them Googling it, or, I mean, it was pretty obvious that they were just pulling whatever footage was available, uh, if they didn't have anything else. But this was one of those where they were, like, no excuse, they just took my stuff, and I was like, I don't like you anymore. And I don't like being put in that position ever, where I suddenly have to dislike somebody as a result of their own bad choices in relation to me. Because then I extra dislike them and I don't want to deal with that. I am taking some hurts. Yeah, we might want to do rapid reconstruction here. What about a watermark instead of your face? I've been doing that for story-based games. Uh, so if you go look at my Control uh, series or my Iron Danger series, uh, there's a tiny little watermark on the top left. Um, and ultimately, my come to the point where I I put it up to another vote in like a month and just be like hey I've been doing face cam for another month now keep doing face cam or just switch the watermark like in these series um, the one thing is if I if I put my a watermark in the corner and people still steal it uh, then I'm gonna have to actually like do trademark violations and that's gonna get kind of funky I wish Singular Strike, instead of reducing the... Reducing the total weapon damage size and blast radius for each weapon or projectile instance, I wish you'd actually just truly unify all of the spare shots. Uh, so instead of penalizing you for having too many shots, you actually want to get more shots. And so for the, like, silly amount of, um... Uh, for, the, for the silly amount of grenades that I'm spitting out, instead it would just give me one mega grenade that I just chuck occasionally. 
That never happened, but it'd be really fun. Uh, let's see. Where's rapid reconstruction? I guess we should go channeling. I don't think I ever actually went core shielding, did I? Eats grenades. I'm curious how double tap would work with this, but I can only imagine it would be bad. Hello, yes. I do like explosions. That's not honestly as effective as Thermal Lance. Burning damage is kind of goofy. I wonder if bosses have like heavy plating and you kind of bypass that with um with burn damage. This whole game should have an epilo uh, epilepsy warning. 100%. This is this is not friendly to um this is not friendly to anybody with epilepsy. And I truly apologize for that if somebody does actually have that problem. Okay, I'm gonna just back away from him for a second. Okay, this is a very bad place to be. I could kind of use rapid reconstruction right about now. Okay, there's my shields. Survival, survival has... Improved. Uh, let's see. Well, I'll grab core shielding instead first. My fire rate is so shit. They're just going bleh, 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 bleh. I love it. It's so dumb looking. And it works shockingly well. Oh no. And have a good solution to this. One high caliber wouldn't hurt too much. Two is not kosher. The problem is it hurts my velocity and I'm already having major issues yeah, with um weapon velocity here. We don't really need calibrate. Or most of these. Kinetic boost would be fascinating, but probably not helpful. Siege weaponry would be stupid. There's rapid reconstruction. Alright. Oh, that's so much better. And this means my tongue machines are going to be just aggro mode constantly. Okay, yeah, I think I think I should start um, rolling rapid reconstruction more often. Because Jesus Christ, I am tanky. It's so much better up until a certain point where it isn't. Yeah, except for that certain point is usually usually the point where the game is non-functional to begin with, like. 
Uh, let's see. Do I want a 35% damage bonus? Sure. Blast radius is good. But 35 bonus damage. 35% uh, bonus damage is pretty choice. Might want to grab some speed, though. Let's see. Uh, I'm going to grab one into Hyper Metabolism. Just one. Plated Armor might not be a bad idea. Wonder, I know you've gotten this question, but... Uh, uh, more times than there are cells in the human body, but as a streamer, how's quarantine affected you and your brand? Uh, interestingly enough, I think it's actually hurt my brand a little. Uh, or not my brand, but, uh, I, I've, I've definitely felt like, uh, viewership's been lower. And maybe a lot of it has to do with game choice. I've definitely been playing a lot of uh, subpar-ish games. I'm gonna call them subpar games. Story-based games that, you know, a lot of people probably don't feel like watching. Um, but I think I am a fairly unique... Uh, I really wish Energized Shields would actually disappear. Um, I'm gonna grab Polar Inversion. But yeah, I think I'm actually a very, very unique case. Largely because... Oh, uh, largely because... I think a lot of people watch me while at work. And I think now that a lot of, a lot more people are home, uh, it, is, uh, it is actually hurting my, like, kind of lurk at work uh, audience. As a lot of people probably have better things to do while at home. But yeah, could also be Animal Crossing it took over. That also could be true. Like, it, it really remains to be seen how my channel changes over the next, like, X number of months. Um, I'm trying to cut, a, cut back a little bit on Animal Crossing. I'm still going to play it, but I think I might only play it at certain times. Uh, like in the evenings or whatever. Let's see. Not surprised viewership is lower, lower if you think of it. Ah, I don't even know where I am. Okay, I'll look at that in a second. Anti-matter rounds. Ho oh, ha. I feel like this could be really risky. <laughs> what do we think? Do I just take risk and go for it? Yeah, okay. We'll wait until we get some anti-self-damage mods. That's probably smart. Problem is, it's giving me a lot of re really gravity things. Okay, I think this is a mistake. I think this 100% was a mistake. Maybe it won't be a problem, but I'm just gonna be tadpoling around for a while. But yeah, I don't think it's because there's more competition from part-time YouTubers that are now uh, working on their channels. I don't think that's really much of an issue. Generally, my biggest problem 
is, uh, is truly just, like, whatever games are available. I've been getting a lot of, like, kind of crappy early access sort of RPGs, and they're starting to get to be a bit of an issue. Not that I, like, dislike them, but there's just too many of them. So, like, I have Gordian Quest and Grand Guilds, which, as far as I can tell, they're kind of the same game. I, I'm sure they're not. Ah, they're undead. Yeah, okay. So propulsive muni munitions is not worth it. Not in the slightest. I tried. Uh, let's see. Okay, uh... We're gonna be butt-bomber. Alright, there we go. 